I told you guys in a post that my little jackfruit seedlings were doing quite well. This is where I planted a handful of seeds some months ago. Don't those look beautiful? I've cleared around them a few times because this being the rainy season, everything gets really bushy. But all of this bush and brush here, it's just all stuff that you can turn around and feed to your plants. So you just, as the rain is falling, you know, you come around here with your cutlass or hoary knife or whatever you got, a little grass sickle, and you can chop and rip and just, hey, I'm gonna take a handful of stuff here. And you just shove it down so you can mulch and fertilize at the same time. Now, the reason I do jackfruit right in the ground like this is because they have really uh, aggressive tap roots and they don't like being transplanted. I've transplanted them a few times and had them die. And I said, I'm not gonna do that anymore. So what I do now is I just plant right in the ground where I want a jackfruit tree. And they do really well. So what I have to do now is the hard part. I have to select one of these that I want to live and then get rid of the other two or else they're gonna fight here. I suppose the alternative is, is I could just braid the three of them together and make them a triple trunk tree or just let them fight. But if I select one of them and let it go, I'll get a bigger tree. And this is actually right at the corner of my driveway. So the road is right here. And then my driveway is being built right here. So I have this pretty little, gorgeous old jackfruit tree right here in the corner, which will, with its aggressive roots, hopefully hold the erosion back on the side here where the slope comes in. But I'm very happy with it. Just a quick update seedling grown jackfruit. I'll just select one, get rid of the other two, keep mulching them, and it's going to do fine right here. Looks very, very happy. Loves the rainy season. Thanks for joining me. Catch you all next time. And until then, may your thumbs always be green. And have a very Merry Christmas.